Hi, I'm Joe Abunasar with Impact Basketball. We're going to work the Step Up Screen series today. Almost a new screen. I've been doing this a long time. It's a, it's, a, it's a different angle on a ball screen that's being used because most teams are downing or icing or blue, whatever you want to call it. They're playing the ball screen down to the, to the baseline. So teams have adjusted their screening angle. Today we're going to work the Step Up Screen and then with a rescreen where both players are getting a shot. So in this drill, it's a Step Up Screen to start. Guard's going to have the ball top of the key, bringing it down in transition. A lot of, it's, a lot of times it's a drag step-up screen, kind of in the flow of the offense. The forward, the big, whoever's setting the screen is going to come up and set a screen at an angle where the player is now, it's a step-up screen, the player's going to have coming away from the rim toward the corner, right, or toward the sideline, in, a, in, in kind of in contrast to the traditional side ball screen where the player's coming to the rim. On this situation, we're going to build it into real offense, so the player Ball handler is going to come off the step up screen. Step up guy is going to pop. The player has nothing coming off the screen. He or she's going to back the ball out, and then the screener is going to re screen down on a traditional side pick and roll. Ball handler is going to come off that screen hard, attack, get a commitment. The ball handler now is going to hit the pop. The screener on the re screen is going to pop as wide as he or she can to the corner, create spacing. Guard has to deliver a great pass. Could be a hook pass, got to be a realistic pass. Again, passing the ball is a big part of the game today. As soon as that guard passes the ball to the big, the guard is going to flash to the top of the key and the dish is going to feed a second ball for a three up top. So in this drill, the guard is getting action of coming off a step up, bouncing it out, coming off a side pick and roll, having to make a tough pass on a pop to a three point shooter, which needs to be right in the hands. And then the third piece is catching from the dish up top and shooting a three. Screener setting two screens, setting a step up screen, rescreening. We want to create spacing. So we don't want to just have a screen and then rescreen right away. We want to simulate live game movement. Let, that, let it breathe a little bit. Let the screener go. Player makes a read. Boom, goes back right down and sets a side pick and roll. Reads, pops, gets that ball from the ball handler and shoots a three from the wing. Again, we can take that three and make it a two if you need to do it, make adjustments from that. A lot you can build off of this. So now we're really getting into a drill where two players are getting a lot of action here. They're getting a lot of skill work, ball handling, passing, screening, different things that coaches want in their offense, and also both getting a lot of reps with shooting the ball. So this is a drill you can use with two players or all the way up to as many as you have on, on the floor because guys are going through quickly and the dish is firing that ball out so quickly to the shooter, we're able to get a ton of reps in. Same points of emphasis, footwork, form, holding follow through, all the things that we know are important in our shooting mechanics, we have to incorporate into this drill. Spacing is very important. Ball handler, don't come off screens at unrealistic angles. And we see this a lot, the screen is being set in the wrong place because there's no one else on the floor. So as a drill, you get kind of caught up in it. Here we want to make sure that everything is perfect, the detail. Coaches and trainers, if you need to put a piece of tape on the floor or a marking on the floor to make sure that screen is being set in the right place, go ahead and do that. Whatever you need to do to make the drill game-like and players, as with anything, we've got to make shots. So we're coming off three from the corner, three from the top. Let's make as many shots as we can. Thanks for working with us today on our Step Up Screen series. Really a, a newer screen, and in, in, not in the NBA so much, but maybe moving down into, I think a lot of younger coaches are incorporating this screen a lot more. It's an opportunity for the ball handler to get a ton of work in off screening, the screener to get better at his angles, passing is incorporated, and then again, the end, end game is making shots. So we want both guys really focusing on their form and footwork, making shots at the end, but another really good drill that you can incorporate that simulates real live game action.